Hello everybody and welcome to your next Android tutorial. Um the first two tutorials were really really boring and the f um the next few tutorials are going to be fairly boring to be honest because setting up the Android is really a really really boring process. But once you have everything set up, then you have nothing to worry about anymore. So this tutorial we're going to be setting up what is known as the ADT. You can read more about it on the Android developer website, but basically it's for the Eclipse IDE. So it's an extra step we have to take for using Eclipse. So what we do is we double click our Eclipse folder and we run Eclipse, our Eclipse EXE. And if it's your first time using Eclipse, it's going to ask you to actually create a workspace. And a workspace is, is um, where they store all the package files, the jar files, the XML files. It holds that all into one general workspace. So just create a workspace, save it wherever you want to, and that's where your projects are going to be saved to. Um, right now we're not creating a project. Um, you want to go to help first. And I believe if you're using Mac, then you have to go to window. But what we want to do is go to help and then go to install new software. For Mac, if you don't see install new software in the help, then if it's not a window, then you might have to search for another way to do it. You have to, it might be in one of these tabs. I'm not too sure because I never owned a Mac before. Um, so you want to go down to help and then install new software. So what we want to install is the ADT. So we're going to do that by going, clicking our web um, browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And the website you want to go to is developer.android.com. And when we click that, we'll be greeted with this web page. And we want to click the SDK tab. And on the side um, menu, the sidebar, we will see ADT plugin for Eclipse right here. And the newest, the latest version is right there. So once we click that, we will scroll down until we see this link right here, which is downloading the ADT plugin. We're going to um, copy that using Control C or Command C. We're going to go back to Eclipse, and with our window, we're going to paste it in there. Now when we paste it, you're going to notice that something that came up. And what you want to do is click Select All, and then you want to click Next. Now for me, I'm going to get an error now because I've already installed this, but um, when you install it and you finish installing it, then it's going to come up with a license agreement. Uh, you're, something is, a screen is going to come up right here. Um, sorry I can't show you, but you're going to have to double click it and something's going to pop up on the right and you just have to scroll down and say that you accept the license agreement and then you click finish and once you do that then you have the ADT installed and then now we're ready to get into using the Android SDK so hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, the next tutorial is going to be a little bit more boring but hopefully you'll enjoy it so thanks for watching and bye